Now, remember, if I do Dynamesh this together and I am going to sculpt with it, and you're sculpting and you're Dynameshing, remember these are thin meshes, so you need to have back face masking turned on. This isn't global. If I go through here to my standard brush, it's off. If I go to my trim dynamic, it's off. Uh, you can go through here and save these brushes with back face masking on, and then go to brush, save as. And if you remember, if you go to ZBrush 2018, C program files, Pixel Logic ZBrush 2018, Z brushes, if you save it in here, those are your light box brushes. When you hit the comma key, that brings up the light box, that's where those go. If you go to the startup brush presets, that goes into, that copies the brush. So right now we're doing trim dynamic. It'll save it as a trim dynamic copy. And then you can use this as a separate trim dynamic. If you want to save over the existing trim dynamic and you want to have uh, back face masking turned on, you go ZBrush 2018, Z data brush presets. And then if you save over these, so under here, QRS trim dynamic, that will save over the real default Z brush. Now, if you're going to do this, I would suggest copy, do a copy, control C, control V, and then keep a copy in there just so you always have your regular brush presets to go back to, just in case something goes wrong. But that's how you can save back face masking with these brushes. So just remember that's a thing.